This is a 2020 on a 70 registration Land Rover Defender 110. This is a first edition model. Um, now, when these cars came out, the first edition was obviously a very highly specified car anyway. Lots of optional extras as standard. However, this car has quite a few features that are above and beyond that specification anyway. Um, I'm going to show you through that as we go around the car, but yeah, what a beautiful looking car. It's finished in Godwana stone, which is one of my favorite colors actually on this new Defender, on these new Defenders as a, as a model. Um, I think it really sets off all the lines on the car. It looks even better with this full black pack, which is obviously all of the gloss black lettering, the gloss black inserts behind the headlights, the grip sections on the, uh, on the bonnet, which is a bit of a homage to the, uh, the older car and the contrast roof and the mirrors, it just really sets off this color. I think Godwana Stone really makes the black pack stand out. It's, it's, it's a wonderful way of sort of making the car look a bit different. Now, this car has some amazing features as well as it being a first edition, but it has some amazing standard features. So they all come with this matrix LED adaptive light, the first editions that is. So this isn't the standard LED light that you get on the SE and the lower models. This light is adaptive. So the beam will drop and raise when cars are coming towards you at night. It'll block out where that car is and follow it as it comes down the road. And then obviously it'll lift the beam back up in those areas. Amazing features. Again, a really nice added bit of technology on these newer cars. Now, if you're wondering why this car looks a bit different to other Defenders, it's the way it looks. Um, and I'll give you a little sort of hint, it's these wheel arches. So this car is fitted with the full extended wheel arch pack, which is an amazing option to have. Most of the cars have a standard little lip that runs sort of the course of the wheel arch here, and you can't really tell much difference between that and the line of the body. These stick out a long way. They give that car, they give the car a big start, a much bigger sort of footprint on the road. Um, and a great, great feature. It'll lead you to the, uh, the 20 inch, 21 inch, I beg your pardon. Oh no, they are 20s, I, I'm sorry, they are 20 inches. Um, the 20 inch gloss black, five spoke alloy wheels. Again, a really nice cost option. There's some not very nice wheels that you can actually option on these cars. And I think it makes a big difference, the wheel that you choose for these. Um, the theme continues, gloss black air vents, air vents for the, uh, for the side grills here the mirrors, the roof lining, the B pillars, the C pillars, it all just sets off this beautiful Godwana stone, this metallic, beautiful, sandy color that the car is finished in. The car also has side steps. These are a big feature here. Again, a seven or 800 pound cost option. Again, not standard on the first edition, a lovely extra on this car. And it all, as I say, it all just helps the way that the car looks. Um, and then up here, you've got the lovely little rear quarter wi uh, windows. Um, these are a lovely feature, again, like the grills at the front, like the grip sections on the bonnet, a homage to the original car. Um, I know a lot of engineering and a lot of time and money went into making sure that they were structurally sound. I'm glad they did it. What a beautiful, beautiful feature to have in these cars. And they let a lot of light into the back sort of back section of the cabin as well. Um, very helpful. Now, again, look down here. These are the extended, the big Land Rover mud flaps. Again, a cost option. So again, this car just setting itself apart from all of the other Defender first editions that are out there. Um, and it really makes a difference when this car drives down the road, it's driving away from you and you have a look at the back of it. These big mud flaps make a huge difference to the way it appears. I'll show you in the boot. Now, as you can imagine with a Defender, huge amounts of load space, all of the seats go completely flat and they're all finished. All the backs of the seats are finished with this sort of grippy texture which is amazing for storing things, amazing so things don't roll around in the back of the car and also for longevity, you know, just so this, this is not gonna get damaged like cheap plastics will, it's not gonna get damaged like carpets will. Um, it's a seven seat variant, so simply just pull this strap here and the rear seats lift up, really simple again. And one thing about this car that I will mention, and I've mentioned it a few times to, to lots of people is how simple it is. The car is very clever, but it's clever in its simplicity. Um, there's no electric gadgets or anything that can go wrong here. You just pull this tab again, drop the seat down, simple as that. The car has a 12 volt power socket, sorry, 12 volt, a 230 volt power socket in the back there, which is lovely. Again, a lovely cost option. Lots of people don't spec that on these. And again, these new Defenders, a big heavy rear door, but it doesn't feel it. It's really clever how it's, how it's sprung. And then you've just got soft close, you just touch the door there and it pulls it in. Lovely, lovely feature. 
Again, as I say, that's a heavy door, but you just don't notice it, and it just makes using that a lot easier. As we come around the passenger side, hopefully the cameraman can show you inside this rear seat section here. If he just walks past me and has a look. Look at the beautiful interior. This is the car key leather. It's half car key leather, and then it's half woven. So this material on these seats is all woven. And it's again, it's all designed to be rugged. And then he's just showing you there the, uh, the rear zone climate control, which is lovely. Again, most of the cars don't have that. They don't have the extra two zones. So this is a four zone climate control car. They don't have the extra zones in the back. A, again, a lovely amount of money has been spent to make sure that this car is, is specced beautifully. Small feature, you've got these little tablet trays in the back. Again, a nice little Land Rover accessory for your computer or your tablet, or if you just want to put your snacks on there or something like that, they detach out of the seats. So if you do want them, they're there, they're brilliant, but they just clip straight out the seats really simply. And then I'll run you near the front of the car and some of the technology which we need to show you on this car. This car has blind spot monitoring, which is just this little section here on the mirror. and it has some lovely safety features as well inside. Um, normal, normal optional extras or normal, normal features. You've got your memory seats on the first edition. This is standard on a first edition, memory, memory drivers and passenger seat. Electric mirrors, they're foldable of course. All electric windows and then obviously the big Meridian stereo sound system. For me, a complete must in a vehicle this size is a big stereo, I find that, I find that very important. And I'm just gonna jump in now and show you some of the features inside the car. So if we start it up, just run all the computers. It's got some lovely features on the steering wheel, one being the heated steering wheel, which is this button here. That activates the heated steering wheel system, which is lovely in the cold. In the winter, it warms the steering wheel up nicely for you. You've got lane keep assist here, and that's active. It's active lane keep assist. So that will obviously adjust you in your lane. So if you're caught sort of drifting in a lane on the motorway, it'll just give you a little nudge back into the correct lane. And then obviously all your normal controls on the left side of the steering wheel. You've got your Bluetooth controls for the phone, voice activation, volume, tracks for all your media. It's wonderful. Now, the bit that you need to see is the PIVI which is Land Rover's entertainment system. Now, this car is amazing. It's got wireless Apple CarPlay. So this is my phone. It's all connected up to the car. I'm not plugged in. I'm not anything, if that makes sense. It's all just working from my pocket. I just get in and it fires up. And PIVI is really fast. It's an amazingly fast infotainment system. One of the fastest I've actually used in, in modern cars. This is the normal Land Rover system. You slide through the system, straight back to CarPlay. I mean, the pro it processes almost as fast as a phone, which, you know, in, in a car, it's amazing to see. You've got buttons, buttons instead of touchscreens, and that is what the Defender is all about. It's about simplicity, it's about being able to use it. All your climate control is here, it runs on these wheels, it's, it's, a, it's tangible, it's something you can touch and feel, and it's, it's very tactile, and obviously you've got your standard features like your heated seats as well there, which is lovely. All your Land Rover off-road modes are all controlled, again, by that button and a slider here, taking you through sand, mud ruts, back to normal. Again, as I say, the beauty of this car is in its simplicity. Under here, you've got a fridge, two controls for your, for your different temperatures in there. Again, lovely. Again, most of the first editions don't have this. It's a nice thing to have. Just get rid of that. Um, and then as we go through the car some more, there's a lovely little feature up here, which is the reverse camera. You have two cameras. You have a camera in the rear tail of the car, uh, which is your standard reverse camera, and then you have this camera, which comes up in your rear view mirror when you flip this switch under here. It's lovely if something's obstructing your view in the rear view mirror, in the rear window, I beg your pardon, and it's an amazing feature to have. Again, I say, very helpful if you're towing or something like that. It just gives you that extra bit of visibility. Um, and then obviously we've got the big opening glass panoramic roof above me, a must have, something you can't really live without. And then the final thing that I'd like to show you inside the car is this car is fitted with the 3D surround camera feature. Now, obviously, you can't see the, uh, the right side because the door is open because that side is covered by the, uh, that camera in that mirror. But look what you can do. You can spin yourself all the way around the car, wherever you are. I mean, just the technology is incredible. It's just incredible what they've managed to do with this car. And now I'll just jump out now, switch the car off. Just run you through it. So just to summarize, what an amazing car. What an amazing car, what a lovely opportunity. This car is one owner from you. It's 13,000 miles, so extremely low mileage. 
It's finished, in my opinion, in one of the most striking colour combinations. That's that Godwana stone with all the black pack. And it's a lovely, lovely vehicle. It is under warranty until late 2023 because it's a 70 registration. So there's no worries when it comes to warranty. All Land Rover warranty covered. As I say, what a lovely opportunity. A really special car. Really stands out from the rest of the pack. Um, I hope you've enjoyed watching. My name is Matthew. Thank you very much.